I'm Daily Fix and welcome to part 14 of our X4 Foundations series as a unworthy entrepreneur. So this is going to be the third time of me trying to record this particular video. First time I got blown up and then got killed by the car. And the second time I posted a screenshot of on uh, on the YouTube community tab of uh, OBS just not recording my microphone feed. And that makes me extremely anxious. Now you can ask yourself, why don't I hear music? Well, that's basically because I am live streaming uh, this view of uh, mainly my stations, uh, which is cool. I've done some off-camera work. And the off-camera work mainly goes into four of, of uh, three of my stations. One is, and we're actually looking at Spice Base right now, but that's not what changed. Uh, one of the things that I've changed with the ore distribution hub and the so-called trade station. Uh, what's it called again? Distribution station. I've changed the storage from small to medium. Uh, basically, if you have two smalls, and let's just go towards that right now. Uh, if you have two small... Uh, wrong one. Two small container storages. Then the price to upgrade is, well, actually non-existent. Uh, if we go to my storage over here. Uh, let's get the solid small. It's 51 clay phronics, 102 energy cells, and 187 hull parts. Upgrading that is less, uh, let's go for medium solid, less than two small containers. So I changed those stations, got some of these goods back, put it into another station, and that left me with the following bases. So configure station. This is this is definitely not that base. Uh, yes, discard those changes. I don't know why he's doing that. Can we just uh, can we just focus on my station now, please? Thank you. So yeah, there we go. One medium solid storage, five hundred thousand units. It's an increase uh, about five times about what we had. I also did the same with. The distribution station, like I said already, we now have a medium solid and a medium container because I noticed that some of my factories were going to have an abundance of resources just sitting there. I also upgraded the, uh, the, the, the medical supplies to four, so we're roughly generating 10,000 of these and that Currently, like, not colored in because they are still getting their weapons. We have the preset on a high preset. So, that's why they have this transparent-like image to them. Let me get into my Excel sheet. Like, Excel sheet simulator, right? I love that. So, here you go. This is basically... Uh, actually, there we go. This is basically my my enterprise the way it is right now. We have eight modules on my stations. We're generating 10,500 energy cells. It's costing us 3,000 to 300 energy cells, 10,000. And you can see that with everything we've done, we're still in the positive. So that's good news because that really one starts me to think like, should we go for no strop oil like right now? Um... Let's take a look. What would that be? Uh, no strop oil. Yeah, I have to redo all of those links. It's been a while, like I said. Uh, I've, I've, wow, 1,200 energy cells, some spices and stuff. If I were to make four, how would that look? We would be having issues. Definitely having issues. Energy, water, spices, and sunrise flowers. How about two? Sunrise. Ah, uh, okay. So that is stuff that I will definitely start increasing. 
I would like to go with bases of four. So during this episode, during the next few episodes, even if we are going to be focusing on refined metals or talladium, we will still start upgrading all of these bases to a minimum of four and eventually we'll start adding habitational mods as well. Now these don't get calculated, the habitational mods is an, an increase of like, I think like 25% on the output of a station. And there's no easy way for me to really change that in this Excel sheet. Anyways, let's go back to the game. And we're going to be continuing with the Boron mission tree. I've not made it a secret that I'm, I'm not a huge fan of pointless dialogue options. And unfortunately, the Boron do really appreciate those a lot. So when I set this to active, there's going to be a lot of talking. Bear with me. Anyways, also, a huge thank you for you who is watching this video right now. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate that as a hobby channel. It means a lot to me seeing videos do well. And thank you for just, just entertaining me in the comments section, liking, disliking, all of that good stuff. Hope you're having a great time. Uh, and let's keep it up. Let's keep it up. Anyways, let's go. Let's go to that... Blazing space. Oh yeah, I will be doing this in a medium ship, even though not all of the bits can be done in a medium. Look, everything can be done in a medium, but you'll have to use your spacesuit a few times. You have arrived at the precise position. Excellent. Taking measurements now. No. This is no good. We will have to disregard these readings. Oh well. Shall not dishearten us. Assistant, onwards to the next position. Oh, yay! Yes, remember, guys, this is my third time doing this. By all means, Leela T. What makes you choose to remain out there? All alone in that tiny tank of yours. Are you not tempted to reunite with your kind now that we are reconnected? Nothing would delight me more than to explore the provinces myself and to get out of this tube for once. But my work is simply too important. After years enslaved in the service of advancing split weaponry, I now preside over what is quite possibly the most advanced scientific facility in the network. I am sorely tempted to abandon post. Even if it is just for a little while, I would most certainly love to see the Great Reef in person. But ultimately, my work here is so much more important than my personal desires. So what is behind your enduring fascination with Great Reef? If you will forgive my candor, you seem to be rather fixated on this particular system. Actually, I was born there. Not that I would have any memory of it. Then shortly, after I was hatched, I was taken to Argon space. But wait, that would mean you How were did you get into split custody yes, then? indeed. If the records are correct, I am 47 years old. Absolutely incredible. I never imagined I would ever meet someone so aged and venerable. Hence my fear of spending time away from my laboratory. While my mind remains sharp, I must exercise it for the benefit of all. Yeah, fascinating. Also, we've changed the ship name, guys. Uh, we're currently flying the Cactus YK, so thank you for putting up that suggestion. Uh, keep, keep it up. Keep up names, you know, for stage. We'll eventually get large ships uh, doing, like, the advanced trading stuff. So, maybe we'll uh, name fleets. Or an innate scientific drive. 
That is simply our nature. We are known for being pacifists and scientists. But underneath all of that, are we not first optimists? Yeah, we're very optimistical, huh? Okay. Uh, so we're actually getting cash and there is another thing that we need to do. We need to start getting some more ships uh, to defend our trading, the fill, the, the fill shortage fleets, because uh, they have been harassed quite a bit. Now, 1.3 million is not going to be cutting it. That is, I think, roughly like four ships. And I kind of want to save up a tiny bit to get more of those ships out. But that would slow down production on the other stations. Excellent. Yes, this position seems promising. Taking readings of the phenomenon now. Hmm, curious. What? No, this will not do at all. Assistant, something seems to be interfering with the measurements. You must get to the bottom of this at once. Yeah, okay, we will. Let's go close. This asteroid is highly unusual. It appears to emit some form of residual energy, impeding the accuracy of my readings. You must destroy it. Yeah. Wait, okay, we will. What? Is that really necessary? Can of course you it is. For the this entire Why game is about explosions in space. Yeah, we'll do. Let's go get him. A word of warning. Do not let the authorities find you with this contraband. Now don your spacesuit assistant. I honestly think that what is kind of bugging me the most about how they talk to you is the assistant part, uh, I think. Greetings. Let me know what you think right. about the dialogue options from the Boron. I've talked about this a bit in the Discord channel. Also, if you want to be doing it like this far out. Uh, let's just get a bit closer. I, I don't think we actually need to. Uh, let's give that a go right now. It should probably pop where my mouse is pointing. And that's free. And there you go. <laughs> Math scientist laughing. Dragon. Obliteration may have appeared to be an extreme approach to resolving our issue, but it seems to have done the trick. All right, let's go back in the ship. Assistant. So, yeah, 1.5 million right now. Pilot engaged. Um, I did change some of the settings and I'm hoping that everything is still loud enough. If you're having troubles hearing the music and stuff like that, do let me know, Autopilot please, so I can change that. Otherwise, if you don't, it's most likely not going to change. Yes, the 
odds of this phenomenon occurring naturally are incredibly, unfathomably minuscule. And, viewed from this position, their positioning appears oddly symmetrical as well. The stars seem to be pointing towards that blue giant. I wonder if... Oh my! The radiation readings emanating from the blue giant are incredible! Incredible? How? They are oddly regular, in a manner that should not be possible. And they repeat, like a signal. Could... could this be what we have been missing? Surely not. That would mean... Did... did someone mean for us to find this? Wait. A message written in the stars? For... you? Oh no, please. Not meant for me specifically. But this constellation cannot conceivably be a natural occurrence. Its existence is a manifestation of intent. Uh, okay. I guess. Uh, which the is weird. The word still seeks a means to interface with the gate technology. We may well have just found something worthy of closer inspection. I shall forward these findings to the Mankarit team immediately. Assistant, you should head back to the expedition outpost now. In the meantime, I shall apply my intellectual suckers to the details of our discovery. Explorer. Do not for a nanosecond think that I am not coming with you. Yeah. Well, it's great. Alright, let's see if we have some time here to check out some of that. So we're 1.7 million in. Yeah, very, very, very interesting indeed. I'm on my way. Uh, we'll get there uh, shortly. We found the logbox. Seriously. Uh, the Kestrel. Where? This is the only Kestrel I have. Uh, do I... You, okay, let's give him... Let's make... Let, okay, let's give him a, a go at that. He found a logbox over there. Currently... You can look at the inventory right now from the Kestrel. You can see he has nothing in its inventory. If he succeeds, that would be perfect. Uh, if he doesn't, then, you know, it's not our lockbox anyway. We don't really have to care about that. I should go into travel mode as well. That would really shorten this voyage. <laughs> oh... So yeah, I I'm looking forward to change the uh, the economy of my empire right now. Like the goal was getting into medical supplies. Yeah, that's great. Of course, now with that goal achieved, that left open a lot of possibilities. Now one is going to be the no strop oil because, quite frankly, we only have to alter a few of the stations. So, there's no harm done in doing stuff like that. And we can only use funds to create the refined metals or the Talladium. I'm most likely going to start Danger. with the Talladium first. Let's quickly take a look at where we are. Uh, yeah, we definitely need to go to the left. And... The Taladium can only be sold to the, well, Talladi. 
right? They are using that as a resource to create, uh, I think, the hull parts. Um, but it could be wrong on that. So don't don't hold it against me if I made a slight boo boo here. Um, but still, a lot of options. We're, we're generating a decent, and I say that extremely yeah, hesitant, because the economy right now of my empire is not great, but I did say that we were going to take fling things slow. So, yeah, we are definitely keeping that on a low burn. Uh, the more money we have in the pocket, the better these fill shortage fleets will do. Uh, and I'm interested in seeing what is going to happen. Let's get out of uh, travel mode. Let's make sure that we get as close as possible to the ship. And to make things a bit easier for yourself, just make sure that you get... With your upper deck towards its uh, its upper deck. Is that, is, is that how you say that? I'm not sure. Because of, uh, well, it's docking port that we now need to go and take is... Oh, wow. Root is on the upper part. And right now we just have to do this. There we go. Otherwise we have to go fly the whole way around and we don't want to do that. Okay. Yeah, let's go. I love this view, by the way. This this is definitely, definitely a amazing shot. Really love the color of it. Love the ship we're currently in. It's just amazing. Ah, there you are. I have briefed Lita Wee's administration on a research strategy and experimentation protocols. The science team is making the final calibrations. And, as you can see, the Alliance of the Word has worked strenuously to construct all of the necessary energy infrastructure. We have concluded our preparations, awaiting confirmation to proceed. Oh, the delicious heady feeling of pre-experiment anticipation. But assistant, I would be surprised if our experiments here escape the attention of the Kark. The Boron scientist has a point. I shall defer to your judgment on when we should commence the experiment. We do it now. Can we initiate proceedings? We will do it now. Science team, you have authorization. You are green to go. You can actually That's see the ship in the background. change in energy signature is immediately detectable. Indubitably, the signal you helped extract activated something within the gate's mechanism. I can confirm that we can interface with the jump gate. It appears that we can input basic commands. All of this seems to indicate that I really am onto something with the cipher hypothesis. The cadence of the blue giant's radiation output acts as a sort of key. Introduce energy now. Affirmative. Stay on guard, everyone. Explore. Oh, you, you gotta love that auto save. And I think it might be intentional. Get back out there. Maintain a secure perimeter around the jump gate. Yes, uh, will do. You can already, like, hear engagement, attack orders, stuff like that. So that's why I want to have my back open. Oh. Quickly get into our ship. I did this first time. Like I said, I got destroyed. I did this in the scouting ship that we got. Uh, when we opened up to the Boron system. So, yeah. Just... Don't go too far out of the way. Because they will just sure as hell get over here. So... Definitely want to hold on just a second there. Alright, I think it's time that we go in. 
Let's have some combat, guys. Even they get damaged on their shield, so that's good. Now, we have those annoying weapons that are ha they're basically shotguns. So, they all die. But there is going to be more. Five kilometers out, there is another group. You can see plasma shots going. And they do take uh, good work dealing with these guys. Be careful of your allies. You will ha uh, harm them if, uh, if you shoot them. There's one above. I Four think he attack. might just destroy. There we go. Who do you think you are, man? Destroy my paint. Guard. Just uh, take your time. Just, just get back to the groups. Yeah, there's the capital ship. Hive guard. I say capital ship, but we all know it's not a capital ship, right? Protector. Ooh, that was a bit of a lag Protector. thing going on. I don't like that. So they do spawn in more enemies. I'm covering you. That's 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 great. Okay, 3.6. Let's get my mouse out of there. Queen's guard. Get a track to beam on every now and then. Yeah, in this ship, it, it looks like nothing, but these guys absolutely destroyed my scouting ship. Now, whatever it is they drop, it's not that interesting. And we'll have plenty, plenty of opportunity to uh, do a lot of combat. Yes, shooting like price shooting. Forager. That's good. I think this might be the final group. Protector. Oh, maybe not. Uh, there's a group. He's died. Ten kilometers out. Forager. Let's see what he'll do. He might just come towards us. Yeah, it's a group of I think four. Behaving extremely erratic. Uh, let's go check it out. 2.7 million already. Yeah, start shooting protector. them. Protector. They call it protector, but are they really protecting? Now, maybe they are, of course. We're kind of destroying them, aren't we? Forager. Protector. Protector. Uh, yeah, they keep coming for a bit. It's fine. Forager. Hive guard. Protector. Come on. Forager. 
I think that's it. I think that was actually it. I'll try to get some of the boxes, see what's going on. Three million. Yeah, well, actually, money is going up relatively nicely. That's too far away. Do I actually have to? Alright, let's go there. Just turn the, uh, the hut off. I think this should be... Decent. But look at that shot, guys. That looks bloody awesome. I love. I started playing this game just because of this. This 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 is so gorgeous. Uh let's go take a quick look. No, we're not there yet. Uh let's move backward a bit. You know what, autopilot. Engaged. Yeah, we were a bit too high. Autopilot disengaged. There we go. A giant spike in radiation. Well, this is certainly new. Initial readings? Everything. All scans seem to indicate regular jump gate function. Incredible! It really does appear as though we've managed to establish a connection between two gates. But does it lead to Kingdom End? There is only one method for ascertaining the answer to that question. Fleet, move out. Wait, wait! There is an energy flux! And transition is achieved. Green lights across the board. No immediate danger detected. Oh my goodness! There's a fleet of Commonwealth ships right here. Greetings, friends. Please tell me you are with the Alliance of the Word. We are indeed. Judging by the equipment surrounding this gate, would it be presumptuous to imagine that you had a hand in activating the jump gate from this side? With the help of the local Bora population, yes. How very impressive. Our scientists have been endeavoring to achieve this for countless times, but to no avail. Then suddenly, without warning, something changed, and we were able to interface with the jump gate. Yes, we have just made the significant breakthrough that brings everything together. You simply must share your findings with us. In the meantime, we will harden the gate defensive positions and establish patrols. And of course, our most venerable and beloved Queen Polyphylus wishes to receive you and your subordinates to thank you for all you have achieved. It would be an honor. We will also need to instigate ties with the local administration. I may be able to assist in that regard, and I cannot deny how thrilled I would be to come aboard as ambassador to my long-lost Boron brethren. Okay, so let's Yes, please. Let's go. Be right for the two of you to join me and my audience with the queen. Me? Meet the queen? Yeah, sure, man. So Why not? We're uh, we're famous. All right, let's go. Autopilot engaged. All right. So I did a bit of a cut there. Uh my dogs Usually, <laughs> can be extremely annoying right now. Uh, so they had to go outside. And I decided to start preparations on our future endeavor. And that means that the ice refinery is going to be getting another water container. We're going to be giving him a medium container as well as uh, a solid medium container. 
the sunrise base is going to be looking like this. I initially thought to place them next to each other, but yeah, I didn't want to do that. It looks kind of weird. Eventually, like, we'll have multiple of these discs. Uh, but I, 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 I like where we're going. We're just going with it on the fly. Now, I still need to configure the spice base. Um, are we currently traveling? Yes, we are traveling. Now, it might take a while. So, I'll while we travel to the location, I'm just going to be making the necessary uh, changes to these bases. So that we can make that no strop oil. And then next, uh, hopefully next part, we'll have medical supplies. We'll have food. We can go into uh, houses if we want to. There is a lot of options. And then we can actually let this entire part go. And go into uh, the refined metals type of, uh, of business. So I'll meet you at the Queen. Uh, while I make the uh, the rest of the changes. Okay, so we're looking at the solar power plant for right now. I only needed one more. Uh, and that is, it's going to be costing me 1.1 1 .1, uh, million. That's including the web. Why guy is loud? Yeah, so if you can hear that, sorry man. The, the dogs, okay? What can you do? I think I have the money to actually get that builder going. Uh, and that means we can start slowly feeding money into that. And definitely next time we can have that food business up and running. Now one of my guys was being harassed in the meantime. So I set him down to do a bit of docking. And that brings me back to that one point I made. We need to get some defenses going on. I also would like to get like these large docking ports at all of the stations so we can upgrade these guys to large ships so something like that right all right let us quickly get to uh to his majesty the boron queen docking granted luckily we can just dock which is perfect All right, let's go. Oh, this is so exciting. Quickly rush over there. Uh, and once we uh, we have uh, inc included or excluded or concluded, I think it's concluded, the business with the queen, then, uh, then that will be the end of it uh, for this particular part. It's not like they gave us chairs or anything, so we're already rising. <laughs> Greetings, travelers. It is our great pleasure as reigning monarch of the Kingdom of Boron to receive you all in this historic moment. Our royal steward positively gushed with praise for his allies, and so I wish to thank each one of you who was so critical in bringing these long-lost systems back into the fold. First, Numankaret, fearless leader, without whose vision and doggedness an expedition of such scale would never have been possible. You have our deepest gratitude. You are most welcome, Your Majesty. The pursuit of knowledge and unity is my paramount drive. I could no more relinquish the task than I could cease breathing. Mila T. Our loyal subject and long-lost kinswoman. You have done your utmost to maintain the safety and security of the severed realm, despite hardship and adversity. And steward leader informs us that not for one moment did you let the dream of kingdom end die. You have our deepest gratitude. It is such an honor to be here, Your Grace. Just to be here, to see the home planet, 
is all the reward I will ever need. And now for the prodigal spawn, Bozo Ta. You spent a whole lifetime away from home, isolated from all fellow Boron in the most unimaginable manner. And yet, you did not let these dreadful circumstances deter you. Welcome home, Bozo Ta. I... I... P please forgive me. I... I have no words. Well, that's for the first time ever. And then, of course, there is you. Yololia Sanduras Ruziras 11. I have a perfect name, I informed that your grit and fortitude were the backbone of this venture. Without your endeavors, it is doubtful that the Boron of Kingdom End would now be reunited with their brethren, or the Commonwealth at large. We thank you from the deepest well of our being. Well, uh, I get you are welcome. Now, Numankare, we expect that you and your science team will be quite busy for some time to come, exchanging your findings with our own scientists and making sense of all that has occurred here. Yet still, we have a favor to ask of you. It has been a long time since we last shared the network with other species. We ask that you use your expertise to coordinate a mission to reach out to our old allies and adversaries. Let them know that the Boron of Kingdom End have returned. Oh, finally. I would be honored to oversee such an undertaking. And I already know the perfect candidate to take up these emissarial duties. Oh, I'm screwed. Explore? Yep, I knew it. Of course we will explore. I knew it. It presents a unique opportunity to explore every corner of the network. Okay. Uh, sure, why not? All of you again. You are great friends to our people. But now, we are afraid that we must ask you all to take your leave. Our royal duties cannot be postponed any longer. Again, the other save? We're still like in, in the middle of like a cinematic. These are somewhat annoying. Like, nothing is really going to happen, right? This concludes the royal audience. Our honored guests, you are invited to hold your inaugural mission briefing at the designated venue. Please follow me. How do you know where it is? To be the first outsiders to step in front of a Boron Queen in decades. How incredible. And you get a promotion to Royal Emissary. Congratulations! Yeah, but I'm a Talati, so what does it give me? What brings it to me? If we meet, if we are able to hit that one million, we'll have all of the bases up and running next time. Maybe not the no strop, but you know that's baby steps. Before we commence with business matters, may I say that it is a great honor to work with you, Heralds, on your royal mission. My part is to provide you with the necessary information for your mission manager and to monitor your progress. Other than that, I will contact you should the need arise. Over the course of this endeavor, there will be multiple missions for you to choose from. While it is your duty to complete all missions, the order in which you pursue them is a matter for your own discretion. You are now ready to embark upon your voyage. I shall return to the expedition to oversee the science team so much data to pour over. So many questions still unanswered. You have performed a great service to the scientific community. Thank you. See it through thoroughly to completion, and you will be the pride of the queendom. Renowned friend, which assignment did you receive? Uh, well, I'm a delivery to guy. To the Boron scientists? Surely they have a convenient supply of Bopu secured. I am afraid you may have drawn the short straw. 
a mere courier assignment. I am responsible for establishing a defense treaty with the Argonne Federation. I wish you the best of luck. Farewell, dear friend. Uh, okay. The problem is with this mission that I still need to pay attention to... Like, this system. Now, this will eventually change and we do... We'll get some great uh, missions in here. This one is medium, apparently. It, it's vital. Look at the face, man. Look at that face. So we'll get a lot of these missions, and I really like the DLC for this. This is, of course, the Kingdom End DLC. Uh, well, we, we're going to be wrapping it up uh, for now. Uh, let's go over, over it. So we have a lot of things that we'll be constructing during the... Some of the downtime that, that we'll have. Uh, I'll do my best to actually get that all done. So we can actually build some new bases. Uh, boost our economy. And basically just have some uh, have some fun with that. Not going to be putting that money in right now. Because of my freighting ships. They do still need cash. Um, we also had the quest troll uh, do the logbox. And apparently he actually he did it. Amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm amazed. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you are enjoying yourself watching this. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps me out as a content creator. Hopefully, the audio levels were fine. If they were, uh, if they weren't, or if they were, please let me know in the comment section, and I can uh, take a look in the future on how to change those. For now, I bid you farewell, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.